My name is Dr. Kafo Chidemeje, CEO at Dr. King Foundation Nigeria, convener Trader Town, the Lupus Day. You know, I, I have been uh, talking about this for a very long time. Vigilantes are not policemen. Vigilantes are not trained to act like policemen. When a vigilante captures a criminal, the, 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 the normal thing is to hand the criminal over to the police force. Just yesterday, I had a patient that uh, was brought from the vigilante camp. They tied the patient, they tied the patient's hands, tied the patient's foot thereby obstructing blood flow to the limb. And they tied and left the patient for, I think, two days plus. So as I'm talking to you, the patients can't actually make use of two hands anymore. In fact, more like the, there's something we call muscle infection from ischemia. So now we're having what we call ischemic necrosis. The limbs have developed necrotizing fasciitis. Their wounds have become gangrenous, so that is no blood flow to the area again. And the particular victim now, whatever particular person, victim of this all these things, this torture, has been has been deemed innocent. So the vigilante now brought him for treatment. So I'm now asking them, what treatment are you expecting me to give to to the hands that you tied behind somebody for two days? But the hand cannot, you, we don't resurrect the dead here. Those two hands are dead. How do you expect us to treat this wound? These wounds are, are now gangrenous, so we must have to take them to theater for surgery. It's not something you just do dressing. We have to do radical debris for those wounds. The necrotizing fasciitis, this patient has to be on admission and receive very powerful antibiotics. These are things that those vigilantes cannot afford. But it is easy to torture and maltreat people because you have little power as a vigilante. This is an advice to all vigilantes. You do not have any, any business with beating anybody, whether criminal or not. Hand over all criminals to Nigerian police force. There's a reason Nigerian police force are trained. There's a reason they go to school. There's a reason they study. So that they will avoid all these kind of injuries you people pass on people. Thank you very much.